46% of the world's trees have been cleared over the past 12,000 years. 3.5 billion to 7 billion trees are cut down per year. Major categories contributing to forest loss are Timber harvesting, 37% Agricultural expansion, 28% Wildfire, 21% Construction of roads for resource mining and extraction, pipelines and power lines, 12% Expansion of transportation networks via roads, 2% Brazil 360,000 square kilometers. Indonesia 157,000 square kilometers. Democratic Republic of Congo 58,000 square kilometers. Malaysia 47,000 square kilometers. Bolivia 29,000 square kilometers. Colombia 25,000 square kilometers. Without trees, humans would not be able to survive because the air would be unsuitable for breathing. People would have to develop gas masks that filter the little oxygen that would be left in the air. Trees are a crucial part of the carbon cycle, a global process in which carbon dioxide constantly circulates through the atmosphere into organism and back again. Carbon is the second most valuable element to life, after water. Trees take carbon from the atmosphere through photosynthesis in order to make energy. This carbon is then either transferred into oxygen and released into the air by respiration or is stored inside the trees until they decompose into the soil. The absence of trees would result in significantly higher amounts of carbon dioxide in the air and lower amounts of oxygen. The filthy air would also be full of airborne particles and pollutants like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. If the air hadn't already wiped out everybody, the next disastrous consequence of deforestation is its damaging effect on soil. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, 2.5 billion people depend on agriculture for their livelihood. If deforestation get its way, those people won't be the only ones affected. The soil would become full of dangerous chemicals and pollutants that are usually filtered by trees. In addition, Soil erosion is currently prevented by trees because they protect the land. However, soil would be unprotected, and vulnerable to reduction in soil quality and topsoil nutrients. Soil erosion would become more prevalent, and eventually all the soil will lose its arabilite and agriculture will fall, leaving us people to starve. The level of fresh water resources available will become as scarce. There are already many debates over whether we currently abuse non-renewable resources, but the most important of these resources is probably fresh water. Fresh water is the basis of human survival, and agricultural, industrial operations. Future politicians are going to have to make groundbreaking decisions on how to preserve enough fresh water resources for their country, and one option would be to wage war against others to the death.